What's up, family? Today we got part two. We have part two. Don't allow anyone's insecurity to affect their confidence. Go watch the last video. I talked about the five things to show that you just simply believe in yourself and you're not cocky. Someone has insecurity, so you know, they think that, hey, your confidence is dim in their light the whole time. They just need self-growth. All right. So the next five things for this part two, resilience, resilience, overcoming challenges and adversity. It builds resilience, which can lead to character growth. It always leads to character growth it always leads to greater confidence it always leads to handling your future obstacles all by simply having resilience weather the storm if something happened you had that resilience i'm not gonna lie i just had something happen to me i had to have resilience i'll talk about that probably next week or next month maybe we'll talk about it but honestly I had to tell myself, like, man, you got to have resilience. It's easy to preach this stuff, but you got to listen and follow what you actually preaching. So I had to use resilience myself and just tell myself, reassure myself, everything will be okay. Everything is okay. And sometimes that's all we need because overcoming challenges, honestly, is not easy. But life's not easy. So instead of feeling bad for ourselves, we just have to keep pushing. And I know, you know, sometimes that's not the easiest thing to say. Sometimes we don't want to do it. Honestly, it's hard. I know. But you just got to think about it. Just have resilience. Just keep walking. Like, growing up in life, we made it to this point. Honestly, our whole life has been hard. When we entered kindergarten, it was new. It was hard. But we progressed. And then we made it to first grade. First grade was hard. But then we progressed. So... It's all about taking small steps and keep elevating one step at a time. One step at a time. And the second one is body language. Body language. You gotta adopt confident body language. Stand tall. Make eye contact when you're talking to people. All of these things can influence how you feel about yourself. When you have great body language, great posture, it just, you demand that respect when you walk through the room. It's just saying, I'm confident in myself. You have that demeanor, you have that look in your eye. It doesn't matter what comes your way, you're going to take over. That is what type of presence you want to demand when you walk through a room. All lies are on you every time you walk through that door. Body language. All right. Experience. Experience. I know you're thinking, how does experience help with my confidence? How does experience help with my confidence? This is how experience helps with your confidence. When you gain experience in various situations, it can lead to better understanding of your capabilities and increase your confidence. Therefore, when you increase your confidence, guess what? You can keep climbing. You don't doubt yourself. You're steadily trying something new. You're not thinking, oh, I'm going to fail or take a lesson. Because, you know, we don't take L's. We take lessons. So you're thinking, I may take a lesson. I don't want to take a lesson right now. But guess what? All of these things are experience. You're always going to gain something from it. You're always going to learn something from it. You're always going to gain a lesson from it. Even if it doesn't work out how you thought you wanted to work out, you will learn something from it. And that's very valuable. You have that experience now to help you the next time you want to go through that stuff. And that's very valuable to have that experience. I promise it's very valuable. Sometimes you won't get it on your first try, but you got to keep pushing. Can't stop right there because the next time may be your time. But if you stop after the first, guess what? You will never have a chance to get it that second time. You won't. So use that experience to your benefit. All right. 
Mindfulness and self-care. You want to take care of your mental and your physical health. You want to improve your overall well-being. You want to contribute to having a more confident mindset. So guess what? That can be something as simple as going to the gym, grooming yourself, reading, sharpening your mind, listening to different podcasts, talking to different people, self-development books. All of these things help you self-develop, help you become a more confident person, help you become more well-balanced overall as a human being. So these are things that you should put in your toolbox and they will help you elevate. Great things to help separate you from cocky, thinking you're better than somebody, to just confident, being a confident person. Remember, being confident, you can help somebody. When you're confident, you can help somebody. You can help teach somebody something. Help someone learn something about themselves. All because they feel you're a good teacher. But guess what? All great leaders was once great followers. So you've been prepping on this your whole life and you didn't even know it. Like, this is your moment right here. Every time you listen to that elder person, every time you listen to that older person in life, just keyed in, locked in. Anybody you listening to, this is what it was all for. Now, the last and final thing let's embrace failures let's embrace failures that ties everything i just talked about into one resilience body language experience mindfulness and self-care and last let's embrace failures remember when we embrace failures We're understanding that that is a part of growth that can help take us to the next level. And guess what? With growth, we have to take risks. And with risks, sometimes come failures. But guess what? You have an approach now, and then you gain new confidence from the new challenges that you just faced. That you were willing to step out on and try to climb that wall. You are willing to climb the fence, to achieve new heights. You were willing to put in that work. It didn't work out this time. That's okay. Try next time, I promise. My current job, I didn't get it the first time. I applied in 2020. I didn't get it the first time. It wasn't my time. God didn't have that for my cars right now. Guess what? I kept developing my skills, kept growing, kept, you know, becoming a better person overall. Two years later, guess what happened? Without me even trying, it opened up for me. Better opportunity. More money. Well, more well-rounded. Now I'm coming as an asset compared to coming as a liability. Sometimes we don't look at it like that. Sometimes it's just not our season. But again, all of these things can help you become a more confident person. Because when you're cocky, You're not hearing that. You're thinking like, why did I not get it? Why did they get it? They're not better than me. But when you're a confident person, you know like this opportunity will present itself again. And next time you'll be over ready. That's a confident person. Little to no doubt. No matter how long it takes, you will complete it. We're not in a race. Life is a marathon and it's all a journey. Keep grinding, baby. We almost at that finish line. Keep grinding, baby. We almost at that finish line. Look, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all made it this far, man, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Keep on emailing me. Keep on DMing me. Comment. If you have a topic you want to talk about, comment. I would get to it. Remember, we're again three videos a week. I need topics to talk about. Thank y'all, man. Love y'all. I'm out.